What up? It's Richard Boda with Six Magazine. We're here with Arizona Cardinals wideout Steve Bresson. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. Tell us how it's gonna be this upcoming season, feeling Antoine Bowden. Uh, it's gonna. I, I don't. You know, I can't. I don't think I could do it this season. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my, you know, do my part on the team. I think the biggest thing with Q, you know, him being a Pro Bowl athlete, you know, being a mentor for me when I got there. I think the biggest thing with me is just showcase uh, what I learned from him, and uh, also other areas of the team picking up. You know, running back, quarterback. You know, we got a bunch of talented players out there. How, um, how's Matt Ryder doing right now? He's doing well. He's doing real well. Nice catch, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? He can't catch big line. You don't, you don't got them in your hands. But, uh, I mean, Matt's doing real good. I think the biggest thing with him, you know, is just getting out there and getting the reps in. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to carry over to the game. You know, he got a couple starts last year. He did good. In, and I hope to see more of that next year. You know, you, you try to play towards your strengths, and uh, Kurt's a Hall of Fame quarterback. You know, he when sometimes you get in that zone, you put the ball in his hand, he makes plays, and he makes things happen. You know, that's why we was able to we were, we were able to get to the playoffs the last two years and going to the Super Super Bowl the year before or last. So the biggest thing now is when you got Tim Hightower and you got uh, Beanie Wells back there. I mean, those those are very talented running backs. So you you're gonna see us more balanced this year. You know, spreading the ball around, and like like I said, we got we got a ton of talented athletes. Now that you're um uh, hopefully, you know, I, I've been, I've been trying to fight hard to get that to keep my job, but you know, they've been, you know, yeah, don't go back there, you know, you're putting other people in that role, but I, you know, I really want to do that, you know, I've been doing that all my life, and uh, that's just more opportunity for me to go out there and make plays. Talk about when you first got in the league, man. Like a lot of people just thought you were just gonna be a kick return, punt return guy, and really not get too much feel on the wide receiver. Like, how are you able to like really stick it in there, get some respect, and just? Get some really, really good I think uh, one of the, yeah, I think I think one of the, the biggest things was just uh, going out there and just working on my craft. You know, I, I when I felt coming out of college, I felt I could play receiver. I mean, I was I was more than just a returner. You know, a lot of people didn't believe me. You know, believe in that, but I believed in myself. And I, the the biggest thing with me when that opportunity came, go out there and you can take advantage of it. And I, I prepared myself and. One thing I always, you know, tell myself, you don't, you never know. You never know where someone's going to get injured. You know, someone's, you know, doesn't, you know, live up to their billing, and then you're going to be thrusted up in there. So I think the biggest thing was, you know, Q, Q got hurt, unfortunately, but I was able to and play his role, and I showed that I could be a, a, a good receiver at this level. Cool. Now, Michigan ain't what it is, and you can tell that by the fact that they're not wearing Nike no more. <laughs> like, I, I, I didn't understand it. Like, I had a few homeboys that uh, went on business. They wouldn't go to uh, first we need to get Nike back. We gotta get <laughs> Nike back. That's the that's one of the biggest things. Uh, I was just talking to somebody the other day and like Nike is probably one of the big reasons I went to Michigan, you know, all the cool stuff, you know, coming out of high school. But I just think, you know, just uh I think they'll be okay. I just really think it's you know, it's just third year, you know, if it doesn't kick in now, you know, it has to kick in. I mean, I think they got a, a bunch of talented players. Like, I think they got good coaching staff, and they just got to go out there and execute on the field. You know? Is he good with bringing a lot of the old players back? Uh, yeah, I think it, you, it's a comfortable environment. Uh, right now, it's about me and five other guys working out there right now, you know, in the off season. And it's, a, it's a good strength and training program. I think the biggest thing with them, they, they got to carry their work ethic onto the field. Exactly. Um, now, talk about the second home uh, tournament that we're at today. How, uh, what team are you with today? Uh, it's a team from Texas. I forgot the I forgot where they're from in Texas. Oh, yeah, they're yeah, they're they're good. Uh, they're uh, they was telling me that they were gonna take it all. I was like, you know, you know, everybody says that when they come here, but they they've been putting up points. The defense is real good. They got a couple good players out there. Oh, it's just it's crazy. Uh, I was telling them like I. Usually you play somebody, you know, in your backyard, you know, maybe even as further across the state. You got the little tournaments around here, but this is everybody's from around the country. You, you got Florida, Texas, Ohio, and this big time football states. So, I mean, you know, come out here and play an elite competition against these guys. It not only shows you can play with people within your state, but you can play with people nationally. What's the take for this to become a state that's a beautiful scholarship to a top tier football program? 
uh, uh, biggest thing when the, when the light turns on, your work ethic, you know, just going out there and working hard. I mean, there's certain things that you can't control, but you can control what you do, like the choices you make in life, uh, how you manage the game, how you go about working on your craft. Those are the things you can control. And then everything, you stay blessed, you know, you know, God willing, and everything comes together. But the things you can control, you, you need to stick to that and do that. You know, everything comes together. This is Richard Boda with Six Magazine and Steve Preston. Y'all have a good one. Thanks. Thanks.